And we're here at GasTech 2018 in Barcelona. And I have the honor now to be joined by the Minister for Energy and Water from Lebanon, Cesar Abi Khalil. Thank you so much for joining us. When we look at the prospects in Lebanon, really an exciting time for the gas industry, for the economy, and indeed the growth of this industry. These are exciting times for Lebanon. We've just awarded uh, two EPAs in our, uh, in our maritime motors. Uh, companies are going full speed in their exploration phase. Uh, the first wells should be drilled next year, 2019, and we rely heavily on those uh, on those reserves. One to satisfy our our internal market, to fire our power plants on natural gas, which is a cleaner and cheaper gas, which which would serve the Lebanese economy and serve the Lebanese population. So we're looking forward for this nascent sector in Lebanon and we rely it will be the, locomot the locomotive of the, of the national economy in the coming few years. So it's a very exciting time. Of course, too, when you look at the customer base, too, you're really in a, in a great area where you can serve a new customer base. What are you hearing from potential customers about the gas that you can produce? Well, the monetization of our gas should not be a problem for us because we are at the doorstep of a very big energy market, which is Europe, which is 75% energy deficient and that is seeking diversity of supply. Hence, uh, markets are nearby, southeast of Asia is not very far away, so markets are at our, uh, at our doorstep. So I think the monetization of our gas is uh, is already insured also we we will be we will be needing a good part of it for our indigenous electricity production which means uh, w w which means it will be put to full use in the in the coming few years now we hear a lot of the debate about is gas a transitional fuel is it here to stay what do you say i'm sure you hope it's here to stay and that's what you're looking for a bright future i think natural gas will coexist with the renewables for a long time and as i've said it a bit Earlier, when I just joined the, the Ministry of Energy, everyone was saying that the complete transformation to renewables will happen at the end of the 21st century. Uh, now, nine years later, everyone is saying it will happen in the midst of a century, 2045, 2050. But I think, in all cases, that the natural gas being an abundant, cheap and relatively clean uh, source of energy will coexist with the renewables for, for a very, very long time. Now here at GasTech 2018, you're here with a lot of other ministers, a lot of colleagues here, probably a lot of customers, maybe potential customers. How important is a gathering like this? Well, it is very important for all the participants. For us in particular, we are seeking to promote our second bid round. The Council of Ministers, the Lebanese Council of Ministers, has uh, issued a resolution to start preparing for a second licensing round in 2019 and hence we need to be on the radar of the international oil companies and this is a great opportunity for us to, to be here and to market our second licensing round to meet with all the, 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 the energy community that is present in such events and, and, and this is serving us greatly. Mm -hmm.